Well, hi, welcome to my Rocky moment. I would like to say that this is now my third time trying to do my video and I am all prepared to tell you something very important. So I hope you sit for a while. Um, my name is Colleen Frost. I'm the owner of Frosties and I'm also in care of and the owner of the Bachelor Block Opera House in Staples, Minnesota. Um, I wanna thank you for giving us your time. But why Rocky? Why do I have Rocky on my mind tonight? Well, because it's Lent. Lent is a spiritual battle, whether we realize it or not. It is time when we imitate Jesus' 40 days of temptation in the desert. So we have to talk. Lent, they say, is giving up something. Well, this Lent, I'm choosing to not give up, but give in. I'm giving in to staples. It's a journey, this Lent, a fight to make it through. Like being in a family business, I am starting my Lent and going even closer into the community, my extended family that I chose as my forever home, Staples. You know, growing up in the supper club business, the practicing of our faith and our, our religion came down to three things, chicken, ribs, or shrimp. My parents taught me early on as I sit and reminisce, it's February 16th, and it'll be a, it, it will be two years to the date that I lost my dad. And he was my editor, he was my director, my producer of over 147 videos. And oh my gosh, do I miss him. Anyway, here's what they taught me. Since I was a little girl, probably only four years old, which is my most memorable year of my life, well, not necessarily, but it was a big year. It was 1968. Um, anyway, they taught me that if, if my hometown didn't have it, I didn't need it. It was first things first, does Staples have it? So this is where I'm at today with this Lent. I have to go in or give up something. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna go in, inside this community. So I thank you my, to my parents who preached to me the value of really not being tempted, tempted to always run, run, run to go find what we were looking for. And all along, they said it will be right around the corner. You know, there was big days that we left our hometown. And one of the biggest memories I have is my very first vacation. I was about six or seven years old and we got to go to Wadena. It was the big day, going to Wadena, about 10 miles away. And they took us to Miracle Lumber. And uh, today I have lumber on my mind. But Miracle Lumber was amazing. It had a wall full of dead animals. I mean, I thought I was in Africa, kind of like those magazines mom bought us called National Geographic. I mean, they were all over. And then if we were good and enjoyed our little vacation, we got to go to the Ben Franklin. And what was there? Well, for those of you who are almost 60, and I'm having a birthday party. Um, I think it's March 1st and 2nd weekend. It's a two-dayer. I'm turning 60. But anyway, <clears throat> when we went to these big outings to Wadena, far away, it was to see the dead animals and then to go to Ben Franklin and see the living monkey. So if you have a monkey story from back in the day around my age, please let me know. So first things first, how can I enjoy going into our community. Well, let me tell you what Rocky has taught me. He said, all I wanna do is go the distance. You know, when I think about uh, today and celebrating today, Jeremy Reeks owns our central building supply. My parents said to shop local. And let me tell you, when you are becoming a preservationist and having to choose as many choices as I've had to make, shopping local was top on my list. And finding uh, Jeremy in the central building was like finding an extended family. I was tempted by the advice of others to look at box stores for nails, lumber, sheetrock, foam stuff, even masks, even doorknobs. I fought hard to choose central building supply. Most costs lined up perfectly. Some prices were even less. But what those boxes of aisles and big chains didn't have was that Kevin's, the Jamie's, the Adams, and the others who hauled and lifted each order into our place and cheered me on and gave me my first hoodie sweatshirt today. Um, you know, back in 1977, 
I was seventh grade and I did buy the whole Rocky sweatshirt and I had the, the towel and I would run into town to my favorite place was Janet Carbonin's backyard. And I, I wanted to win and I wanted to be uh, good at something like Rocky. And I fought hard to play basketball. And, you know, uh, come to think of it, uh, Kim Aker was my point guard. And let's just say that when you build a team like I had there, it was, uh, well, I would eat her sweat socks, point guard and all. But Janet was where I lived. And we had the Rocky blaring and we ran and we did squat walks. And when I go to a central building supply today and I get my Rocky sweatshirt during Lent, I mean, this was a great day. You know, Rocky also taught me I'm not the richest, the smartest, or the most talented person in the world, but I succeed because I keep going and going and going. That's Rocky Balboa. And when you walk into a family store and repetitively and build a relationship like I've done with Central, you know, it's their little words of encouragement or their uh, suggestions or help or just pauses that they've given me that make me feel like I am becoming a preservationist. Today, I celebrate going into my community during my Lenten journey. Today, I'm grateful to my extended family at Central Building who came from a family business and who continue to cheer me on. But now everyone cheats during Lent. We slip and buy a case of paper on amazon.com. Well, because why? It's a like a cheat day. So there are some of us that do cheat and it, but this year in this Lenten journey, I'm gonna fight harder and harder to cheat less during the whole year and stay inside, inside our rural communities and fight for the family businesses who have inspired me every day to win. Win at life. So thank you Staples and Central Building for honoring us uh, with your time. And tonight, it's time for another night at Frosty's. I don't know why I'm so excited tonight, but let me just tell you, Wednesday and Thursday has a lot to do with it. Because while we're all suffering during this Lent, I, I had the busiest Wednesday and Thursday I've ever had since I opened. And when Rocky says, when Adrian said to Rocky in that scene, Rocky, why do you fight? And Rocky Balboa says, because I can't sing or dance. Well, which leads me to tonight, live music. Our host, Chris Frost, and special guest, Chris Bremer, and we have surprises every night. Why? Because we want to make Staples and the surrounding area the star on the stage of Frosties. Come on out and enjoy our amazing drinks, our new art gallery featuring Ron Wyman, and you will meet Adam and Brianna, my family and my staff, who I just could not be here without them. This Lent, let us go inside our communities and travel in the loop of small towns around us. Stop into your extended family businesses and say thank you for fighting and going the distance to keep our lights on in rural Minnesota. So find your Rocky this Lent. Get your gloves on and let's go these 40 days together while we celebrate our history and create more. Time is a precious gift that we all have. And when you are a fighter, it ultimately is all we are fighting for. Because if Rocky is the foundation of my Lenten journey, he has my favorite quote of all time. It is the one about time. And when we had time with the people we love and they're gone, I know that these days are difficult. But the one thing I know is that you and I have time right now today. The toughest competitor we ever have is going to be time. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you share it with those you love. So maybe perhaps they will be taught and preached to about going in, into our communities and coming out into the places that offer entertainment and uh, fun or fish. Everybody's having fish tonight. So take your time during Lent and try to go see all those great fish buffets. Um, your churches have them. Your local businesses have them. Let's all go out and get the fish. 
So, but then when you're done, come on out to our local entertainment places and have your uh, cocktails or Italian cream sodas. Uh, everybody, thank you for your time. Rocky taught me that time takes everybody out. Why? Because time is undefeated. So thanks for letting me fight for some time with you. And I'm going to get better and go into our communities and give them my time because it sure has been a reward. Like my new sweatshirt from Central Building. It's inspired me to go back to my Rocky belief that the best fight of all is to fight for our time and to enjoy the suffering of Lent because we're all so lucky to be here. So have a great Lent and we'll see you later.